Hello, it's great to be here again. In today's tutorial, we will guide you through the process of waterproofing an LED neon sign. Waterproofing your LED neon sign is important as it helps to protect it from moisture, dust, and other environmental elements. Here are the tools and materials you require. A pen, a sharp knife, scalpel, silicone sealant, silicone cork gun, syringe, a clean cloth or tissue, and finally, adhesive tape. The Neon Flex we are using in this video is our 8mm winged Neon Flex with the 8mm silicone waterproof end caps. We are using a 5mm thick clear acrylic back panel which has been grooved using our special CNC cutter. Cut your neon pieces to size using the grooved panel as a template. Allow a little oversize as you can trim this down later. Using a sharp scalpel, cut away any excess silicone obscuring the solder pads. Take care not to damage the PCB. On each set of letters, we will have to decide how to connect them. In this set, the power cable will be at the end of the letter H. At the top of the H, we will add a connection wire that joins to the letter T. From the bottom of the letter T, we will add another connecting wire up to the cross section of the letter T. From the cross of the T we will add a connecting wire to the letter I. This will then be connected to the W. The start of the W will need to be capped off. Now we will begin soldering the cable to each piece of neon flex. It is quite a fiddly task but not difficult, all you need is time and patience, and small fingers. After soldering the cable onto a length of neon flex, feed the cable through the pre-drilled hole, make sure the cable is long enough to reach the next piece. Before you solder the cable to the next piece, it is good practice to test it and make sure it illuminates before you carry on. Testing clips are available to purchase on our website. Continue soldering all the pieces together, testing each section as you go. Some of the letters in my design are quite large, so I have powered them from two ends. Here, there is a power cable at the beginning of the O and the end of the S. Doing it this way will help to maintain an even brightness and avoid voltage drop. Once you've added all your connection wires, you can start to install the neon flex into the channels. Add some silicone into the channel to secure the neon. You can avoid this step for indoor signs with small letters. To make the Neon Flex waterproof, put plenty of silicone inside the end cap. Now fit the waterproof end cap over the end of the neon and make sure the cable is tucked underneath the Neon Flex. Make sure the end cap is filled with silicone and leave no gaps otherwise water may get inside. You'll see I'm making an extra effort to ensure there is no chance water will get inside the neon. The LED strip inside is not waterproof, so the last thing you want is a few weeks after installation for one section to fail due to water ingress. If water enters the neon flex and comes into contact with live electrical components, it poses a significant safety hazard. There is a risk of electrical shock or even fire if the water causes a short circuit. Continue to add end caps to all of the cut ends.
notice that I'm using some sticky tape to hold the neon in place until it's set. I do this at the bends of the letters where the neon is more likely to splay outwards. Once I've finished installing the neon and end caps, I'm going to test the illumination using an adjustable power supply, also called a variable DC power supply. This sign is working fine. If one of more of your letters are not illuminating at this stage, it may be because one of the wires has come loose so it's important to check your wiring before you add the end caps. I'm just tidying up the silicone around the end caps and checking to make sure there are no gaps. Now I put a red tape on the positive cable so the sign fitter can identify it easily. I also add some silicone to the back of the sign, where the cables come through. If you want, you can use a syringe to add the silicone instead of the gun. This gives you a little bit more control. Once you've completed this step, give your sign a clean, a final test and you should be ready to install. I hope this video will help you with your next project. In our next video we will be comparing the two parts system. Thank you for watching and see you soon.